Assalamualaikum and good morning my dear students. How are you? This is teacher Elena and we are learning increasing and decreasing order with greater and less than. Okay, remember again what we are going to learn today. Greater than and less than. This is greater than and this is lesser than. Greater than and lesser than this number bigger number is greater than lesser number from left to right so let's us see the example number 18 and number 12 so we know 18 is greater than 12 so we write like this how about 16 and 20 16 is lesser than 20 from left to right. Now we read the increasing order. So let's look at the first example. We first find the smallest number which is 10. 10 is lesser than 12. And 12 is lesser than 15. And 15 is lesser than 16. From small number to big number so the number would be 10 12 15 and 16 10 is lesser than 12 12 lesser than 15 and 15 lesser than 16 decreasing order now look at this example we first find the biggest number here 21 is the biggest number because it is greater than 19 and 19 is greater than 16 and 16 is greater than 11. You can write this in decreasing order from big to small numbers. So we can see 21 is greater than 19, 19 is greater than 16 and 16 greater than 11. Next example is 4,346 and 2,686. Look from left to right. The 4 in the 1,000 from the left is greater than 2 in 1,000 for the right one. Therefore, the 4,346 is greater than 2,686. 4 in 1,000 greater. From here, we can see from left to right, the first number in thousands, the right one is bigger because 3 in thousands is bigger than 2 in thousands. How about this one? So, both numbers in thousands are 3, but the next number in hundreds, the left one is bigger, 329. The other one on the right is 266. Therefore, 3,329 is greater than 3,266. 3, we look at the thousand and then hundreds. This one, one, the thousand and hundreds are still the same number. You look at the tenth number. So, 2,267 is greater than 2,228. Now pause the video. And see if you can write these numbers in ascending order. Remember, ascending means going from smallest to largest. Well, here we have a three-digit number, and all of the other numbers are four-digit numbers. So because 686 doesn't have any thousands at all, that must be our smallest number. Now we're comparing for four-digit numbers. So let's look at what we call the most significant digit, the digit that represents the most. In both of these numbers, we have eight thousands, but in these, we only have six. So we know that one of these must be our next smallest number. Because they both have the same number of thousands, we need to look at the hundreds. Because 6 is less than 8, 
6,686 must be our next smallest. And then, because this number has six thousands and the others have eight, 6,866 is our next number. Now, both of these numbers have eight thousands and both have six hundreds. So we keep going, let's look at the tens. Here we have eight tens, but here we only have six. So because six is smaller than eight, 8,668 is our next smallest, which means that 8,686 is our largest number. So remember students, read the number from left to right. Start with the biggest number and the smallest number in the place value. Okay? If the number is the same, see the next number on the right. Okay, that's all. Thank you.